Hawaiian burials marked in known cemeteries have also been desecrated. This is Kwai Ha'o Church. It is the first Christian missionary church in Hawaii, built in 1842. This building represents a milestone in Hawaiian history when the Hawaiian chiefs adopted Christian beliefs and banish many old traditional Hawaiian beliefs. Surrounding the church is an old cemetery consisting of traditional and Christian burials which lay to rest. I visit a coral memorial which includes a large bell located in the middle of the cemetery. This memorial has a dark history. In 1940, Kauai Hao moved 140 skeletal remains to another cemetery for the purpose of building Likeke Hall, a recreational center for the church. Years passed and the reburial cemetery property was sold. The 140 burials were exhumed again from their graves. Then all the remains were cremated all together. Their ashes were taken back to Kwai Hao Cemetery to be reburied here. You got baby, you got baby one, baby two, baby three, baby four. So you got variety of men, women, and children that's buried here. And just looking on this list, you know, I see my family last name, Kaui, and um, I'm pretty sure in some way we're connected. And uh, we weren't notified that they were going to be moved and, and grouped up with the uh, rest of all these people that was buried at the cemetery. These are uh, graves of Native Hawaiians that had turned to be Christians. You know, and learned of their God, forsaking their own ancient gods, learned of their new gods, and this is what they do to them. And the graves that are being disturbed today at Kauai Ha'o are Native Hawaiians. Okay, and these are families of the people who built that church. Right on the other side of the footprint of the new building, right on the other side. And these missionaries are there under the trees with their huge tombstones and at peace while our kupuna are in turmoil. <laughs>